My grandpa was a great man who served in the Second World War. When he returned home, he dealt with post-traumatic stress disorder. Certain triggers, such as a loud noise, would cause him to re-experience his time in the war. If someone dropped a book on the table, he would duck down in instantaneous panic. You know, God's Word doesn't use the same terminology as psychology does, but I have found as a believer, I can create mental triggers that work in the positive way. It's a matter of soaking in God's beliefs from His Word. As these beliefs become rooted in my heart, I can trigger them anytime I want to. And here's the thing, unless you meditate on the Word, there's nothing to trigger. You need to let God's beliefs soak into your heart. And the more you do, the more you can trigger or activate the truth. In the midst of a difficult situation, you can declare, Father, thank you that I have your power and presence inside me. I can smile today knowing that I have the joy of the Lord. I reach out today and take hold of the life you've given me. Change will begin to flow from the inside out as you realize that the life of Jesus is dwelling in you, ready to be activated.